What's going on everyone? My name is Razor and welcome to part number four of Race Pro. Again. Yep. This is the second time I'm recording this. Reasoning? I'll explain later. Anyways, we move on to group C. There's three contracts in here. And there's one that is completely random, but we'll focus on the first one. This time we use the KDM CSR 260. Those these are the different kind of quests you can sign up or purchase, different earnings as well. And we're gonna try Kuretabo. I'll be right back after this trial. Alright, we are back and the trial is completed. Signed the contract for 600 credits. Well, with 650 credits remaining. Anyway, let's say our three races we're gonna do is a like Kuretabo and a stop and a new track though. I'll explain that track once we get there. Our first race is a like Kuretabo and gotta make sure that these are all to my likings and yeah, let's go. Alright, let's race. Two laps of Kuretabo, and here we go. Note that the KDM CSR 260 is more powerful than the CSR 200, so it goes at faster speed, but we're gonna have to break earlier. I mean, it, of course, the miles are alike, except for the, you know, the power. It is greater power, and we're gonna have to break a little early just to get into the turns. Now, the reason why I had to do another take at recording this is because this, this problem was entirely my fault, though. We were at the computer, the laptop battery was at low, was at low battery, and I thought I was gonna make it through, but I was at the last race, and my laptop was in um, power save mode, and apparently the laptop faded out before I could even finish the race, and it was at the last race too, so yeah, I lost all footage. And you cannot redo any of the other races. If you wonder how I'm doing this right now, it's because I actually went to my hard drive, deleted the data, and then I had to redo everything all over again. I mean, I could have just done, uh, redo a, a new career mode, but I didn't think that was obvious. Well, we, but good news, I didn't earn any achievements along the way, so you can see new achievements if they're coming this way. And we were, and we had a great conversation going towards this. It was about YouTube. YouTube is now becoming a problem for us. I mean, I know that, I know that it has like a major copy, copyright promise. It was able to like hold copyright claims against people who use the soundtracks, but it wasn't their fault. The soundtrack was in, was into the game itself, and YouTube just copyrighted them, possibly because of the music that, because of the music that was playing in inside of the game. And I know it's so weird, and. Uh, another problem is, I got a claim, a copyright claim on one of my videos when I when I finished uploading it. Part 1 of Race Pro. Yeah, well, it should be out 3 days ago. And, I didn't think it was copyright at all. It wasn't the music or anything because of the lack of music in this game. It turns out, it actually copyrighted the engine sound that was from the Mini Cooper and that brand Satch race for about a minute. It actually copyrighted that sound when the volume was too high. And... I was like, what the heck, YouTube? Why you do this to me? It's not music, so why copyright sounds? Copyright car sounds. This is getting, yeah, this is getting so ridiculous, so. And, yep, YouTube has just disabled, um, inactive accounts, so... Some, so, major YouTube is gonna lose a fraction worth of subscribers. Not a lot, well, kind of a lot, but not Half the amount, but they lost a lot of subscribers. So. And yep, the car spins around, but saves it kind of. And also, I'm watching a live stream right now, so yeah, I might be a little sidetracked off. Anyways, let's go into race number two at the anal store. Alright, let's go race at the airport once again. Two laps in the store up, and here we go. Oh yeah, and the thing about the music in this game, there's actually a lack of in-game music. I was going to look at the OS, look for the OST on YouTube for Race Pro, and I couldn't find it. So I looked online, the article of Race Pro on Wikipedia, kind of. It was true or false. I mean, I guess a mix, kind of. You know, it's free stuff. So. And you can look up anything online, like there. 
I looked at this at the reception and this game got mixed reviews so so some people bought it, some people didn't. And it was a great improvement style of putting weird tracks and cars in there, but you know it had a lack of in-game music. So if you don't hear any music at the beginning, that's possibly the reason why there's no in-game music. Yeah, he, yeah, and also the thing is, as we progress on with the game, of course it's probably gonna get longer, depending on what they are. Oh, this is foreshadowing. You're gonna find out what will happen possibly in the next three parts or so. Yeah, so, uh, I don't even know what else to say. I mean, we had a good conversation going with YouTube and stuff. That was the main topic. Oh, yeah. These cars can get loose no matter what, because I looked at the assist SCM SCM slows you down. As it prevents the car from spinning out. Yeah, they slow you down. But they still slow you down if you had it on. Oh god six. Yep. I really have to break early. I just really wish YouTube would be better. If they were on mute videos, I mean, like these plot videos I'm watch that I really want to watch. I had to go to a website in order to watch them unblocked. And you know what's the most annoying part? YouTube muting the videos and then blocking them. I mean, we get it, bro. You, they don't want to hear them. They want people to hear the music, but if you block it afterwards, it's kind of taking a. That's kind of taking a little bit of a blow to us. Uh, what I'm saying here is that YouTube shouldn't become a such a big. I can't find the words. No, I I know what words to use, but I don't want to use those words because profanity. YouTube shouldn't be stupid just blocking videos so we can watch them. Seriously. Alright, I'm about to go into the kill cell here. I know people that is gonna be aware of the copyright is gonna have to unmonetize the videos so they don't get copyright claims. I'm gonna have to unmonetize the let's play that I might do in the future. Yeah. Congratulations, you won the race. Anyways, this race is done and for some reason the AI just does that. Yeah, <laughs> AI does real things. We are not racing. Serious. AI does real things. Anyways, our final race is gonna be at a new track called Paul. That's a weird name for a race track, though. So, but if you talk about this track, this track is called Sick Dear Paul. I thought it would be something like Roman or, so Roman or something, but no. It's actually a different track. It's actually in the city. It's actually a city track. That's take place in possibly France, I think. I think it was France. And this is how it's way out. Ooh, I saw on the pole. Oh, that's nice. Anyways, this track... This track happens to be a seed track that has all kinds of tight turns and hairpins and stuff like that. So yeah, if you're gonna race here, you might have to break early because there are pretty... There are some pretty tight corners around here that you might have to handle. Yeah, we get through this pretty good way. Oops. Oops, I uh, wasn't watching. I got sidetracked by the <laughs> stream that I was watching. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I got sidetracked, so. Okay, this is gonna be the tough part going through curves. Curves. Yep, the curves are the tight part, uh, tight and hard part of the track. So, I think that I think that section I went to might be the toughest part of the track. But we all know the the tough parts of the track are tight, tight turns and hairpins and curves. 
Oh yeah, this is confusing. Don't think about going right. Go, go left, so around here. And figure when you go into the straightaway, you're free. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't care. Okay. Yep. The car, the car hit the wall, got loose, and just hit the other wall. Good thing to know the car is okay, and I'm still ahead of the opponents. I mean, there's no opponent difficulty for this, so they probably think that I'm on easy mode. I use semi pro though. They should really affect the difficulty once I use a mode though. I think I picked the normal ones just to be at a good advantage or good disadvantage. But I don't care. Just metal, just metal seems to be better suited for me. And I experience you see the eight types of difficulty for the Jupiter AIs and for the six, I use highest skill uh, other than above average since that would give me more of a challenge. Really? I was close to the ins I was close to the to the outside wall and I just hit that wall. I'm having more of a circle in this race than I did in that lost than that lost footage so I have more of a struggle. Okay 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 the wheels on here the car spins out great job great job game you gotta make the AIs catch up to me Okay, going, we gone through those turns pretty good, pretty good, and now, and now we're finally done with this race. If for some reason the car does that after the race, yeah, I don't care anyways. We're done with this part, and we do some more parts in the future. I'm gonna try to complete Group C in the following two days, cause I actually got. The grinding done in about 45 minutes to an hour, so it wasn't entirely that bad though. Oh, or 950 credits the contract earnings. Oh, right, here's the Team Bonds call, and the Team Silver. Exactly like the CSR 200. So in the next part, we're gonna tackle up the contract with the Radical SR4. Oh yeah. Alright everyone, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a very good night.